All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, you cut! This one's mine!
I got him! Quick, hit him! Not bad idea, Gregor. Get him! He spilled my drink! Come on now, let's wake up, will ya? Private party, or can I join in? I'm my guest. <laughs> Take him down. Sound you go. Ah, man, this got out of hand in a Sunday. hurry. Second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Okay, ready for more. Haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no, oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlowe, we have to get you out of here. Ah, oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What?
Here we go. Oh, huh, that's not it. Maybe upstairs. In one of these cases. Wait, here it is. Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Y quédate afuera. Pendejo. Oh, there he is. I gotta keep up with him. Ah, there he is. Anyway, ah, now where did he go? Where is he going? Locked. Gonna have to find another way up. Looks like he's going upstairs.
he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush you, pal, but can you move it along? Yeah, I can't get that. Just that I got a lady with you. You know how that is. Mm -hmm. Senor. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. spot him from the roof. Oh, who was your friend? there in his pocket. Now's my chance. It seems we have some time to kill. Give an idea. We can while away a few hours. <sighs> Crap! Swag to me, viejo! Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You telegraph on all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Alright. 
museum's closed. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that boy! Holy crap! He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh god. He's heading for the roof! Catch him! Chain! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? Shooting at me? Excuse me. 
Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. You all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Solomon. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but... Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. 
So you still haven't told me what your name is. And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks, but I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. <laughs> all right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Come on, hurry it up, Nate. Shit, the filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie, what's the holdup? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. Blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. Wall's too high. Yeah, let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Good evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Ah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary poppins hiding behind? Behind that one there, the green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean. It's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, mate. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. 
Yeah, well, at my age, it's a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Uh, Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. Four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um... Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. 
She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Hey, over here. It's locked. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? I see them! Yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Oh, that is a long way down. Careful, it's slippery. With you. Quit screwing around. Hey, there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Here it comes. Well done, mate. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. You cut her a little help here. Sure, I gotcha. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on.
There's the tunnel again. That's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving. I don't think so. Hey, wait. There's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Like one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. Is this place? Oh shit, get down. Good eye. Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlowe's car. Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. He's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. This stonework looks like Tudor, 16th century. Up this way.
quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. Seriously, who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. <laughs> <laughs> 